We've got a huge issue with heroin fentanyl. Yesterday, this resulted in taking a kilo. That's going to be, you know, uh, so many, so many doses off the streets. So important. Um, and we're going to continue to to do our work there. My office has increased our drug trafficking work sixfold, six times uh, over since we started. I put a lot more resources into it. Uh, we need that, and we need to continue to work with our local, federal, and state partners on this issue. This is what we see, though, in these cases with these syndicates. These are sophisticated yeah. criminal enterprises uh, making boatloads of money on uh, by exploiting addiction in our communities and by poisoning our communities, poisoning our people. It's outrageous. It's, it's, uh, it, it really is uh, terrible. And, uh, and so we're going to do everything that we can to, to continue to get after that. But that's what's going on. I mean, these are sophisticated criminal business enterprises. It's as simple as that. They're using um, any and all means available to carry out, uh, to carry out these crimes. And, uh, in the process are inflicting incredible harm on our communities. My view is we've got to do everything we can to combat this crisis. And that means making sure we're taking each and every step to get after a heroin or fentanyl trade here into the state, to stem the flow of drugs into our state and distribution around the state. And, you know, I have big time support for law enforcement and, and the men and women who are out there every day doing that. But we've got to stop addiction before it starts. And that means doubling down on prevention and education.